Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Red Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our 7 Stars Kyushu Luxury Train, and I'm going to be showing you how to build these sleeper cars here. And these are all pretty much the same, and they have three luxury suites apiece in each car. So let's get right into the build. So as usual, we're going to start off with a dark oak stair for the coupler, and we'll attach it up here. Under it, a dark oak fence gate, and a dark oak fence gate to either side. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three polished black stone walls across the bottom middle, and then three polished black stone blocks on top of it. Then an upside down outward facing polished black stone stair on either side here. Come down in this corner, open a dark oak fence gate here, and one over on this side. Then on the second layer behind this, an outward facing polished black stone stair on either side, three polished black stone blocks on the middle. On the top of the end, five nether brick blocks. Then here, an upside down polished black stone stair, and same thing here. Then on the next block down, we'll do our first set of wheels. So we're going to get a netherite on each rail on this next block down with an end rod between them for an axle. Then on the upper hitbox, we're going to do a 3x4 of polished deep slate slabs. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then on the second layer, we're going to fill the top middle three to the end of this truck with polished blackstone. Then we're going to continue a line of polished blackstone on this layer one block above the rail, and that's going to be another 33 blocks long past the wheel here. Then once we have 33 blocks, on the next block down on the rail, we'll do our next set of wheels. So netherite on each rail again, with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hip box, a 4x3 of polished deep slate slabs. Then a netherite on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then we're going to fill in the top middle three above this truck with polished blackstone. And we're going to come out two rows past where these wheels on the end are. Underneath it here, we're going to put three polished blackstone walls on the bottom. Then open a dark oak fence gate here and here. Up here, an outward facing polished black stone stair on each side of the end. Then next to it, a right side up polished black stone stair on either side. Then five netherite across the top of the end here. Then an upside down polished black stone stair here and here facing outward on each side. Now we're going to come on the sides of the truck and on the sides of the wheels, we're going to put a skeleton skull. The next to them at each end, polished deep slate wall and two horizontal lightning rods in the middle. We'll repeat that pattern at this end. So skulls on the wheels, then walls, then two sideways lightning rods. Then of course we'll do the other side. Skulls on these wheels, then walls, then two sideways lightning rods, and one more corner to go. Skulls on these wheels, then walls, then two sideways lightning rods. Then we're going to come up under here and we're going to skip a block of space in front of the wheels and put two rows of polished deep slate slabs up here and extend it all the way out to the side of the tracks. Then behind that, skip a block of space and another two rows of slabs. Behind that, we're going to skip another block of space and we need to get a polished black stone wall on each rail. Nothing in the middle. Then extend the wall down so it's six blocks long. Same thing here. Then we're going to extend another row of six out to the side here. Come over here. And another row of six out to this side. And then we'll come down here and extend these polished deep slate slabs out one block so they're at the side. So it looks something like that here. Then once those are in place, we'll skip another block of space again 
and two more rows of polished deep slate slabs out to the side. Come over here and make sure they extend out on this side. Then skip another block of space again and we're going to go back to polished black stone walls again. And we're going to do two rows of six polished black stone walls on this side. Then we'll come over to the other side. Skip over to this side, leave the middle open, and two rows of six polished black stone walls over here. Then we'll leave another gap of space here, and this time we're going to switch over to blast furnaces. We'll have to crouch. We're going to put three rows of blast furnaces coming out to the side of the tracks, facing outward. Then come to this side, and three on this side facing outward. Then behind this here, we're going to go to a polished deep slate wall, two in the middle coming out to the side, and extend these rows all the way across to this side. Now that we have all that in place, we can fill the second layer in on these two with polished blackstone, so this whole second layer is going end to end three wide in the center. Bring it all the way down till it meets up on this end here. Now we're going to take out nether brick, start in this corner, and we're going to do a full line of nether brick on the outside of this polished black stone on the second layer. And bring it right down to the end on this side. And of course, we'll do the same thing over here. So a full line of nether brick on this side, down to the other end. Once we have that, we'll come up top and we'll do another layer of nether brick down to the end on the outside edge. And then, same thing on this side, another layer of nether brick on this side. And bring it all the way down to the end on this side here. Next, we take out jungle wood planks, and we're going to fill this top middle three end to end with the wood planks until the whole floor of the car is filled in here. So bring it all the way down to the other end. Just keep it coming here. All the way till it's all filled in. Now we're going to take out a door. We're going to put a door on the middle of the end here. A door on this stair and a door on this stair. We'll do the same thing at this end. So a door on the middle, a door on this stair here, and a door on this stair. Then on the end of the car, a two by two of nether brick on either side of the door. Then two layers of nether brick across the top above the door. Then down here, we'll put a birch button on each corner and on the top, a polished blackstone button on each corner. Then we repeat the process at this end. So a two by two of nether brick on either side of the door. Two layers of nether brick coming across above the door. Polished blackstone buttons on each top corner, birch buttons on each bottom corner. Then we'll come next to this side door and do another full layer of nether brick end to end down to the door at this end. And of course, same thing on this side, so a full line of nether brick over here. And bring it right down to the door at this end of the train. Now, come down to the end of the train closest to the front, one block in front of this door on the left hand side 
two columns of four jungle wood. And then two on this top over here. Then right here we'll put an end portal and an iron trapdoor. Skip two blocks over on this side, a cauldron, fill it with water, hit it with light blue dye. Then a column again of the wood planks. Then on this outside edge, we're going to come one block past where this end wood plank is with nether brick all the way up to the top. So right here. Then in front of this, three light blue stained glass panes and a column of nether brick. Another three blue glass panes, nether brick across the top. Then in front of this, two light blue stained glass panes and another two on top. Nether brick on top of that and another column of nether brick. Then a second column of nether brick. Around here, on this end nether brick, we'll make two columns of jungle wood planks to the top again. Then, a column of nether brick right here. Then a 2x2 two two of light blue stained glass panes, nether brick on top, column of nether brick in front of it. Then a 3x2 of light blue stained glass panes, nether brick on top, and a column of nether brick behind it. Then one more column of nether brick here, behind that. Coming off this end one, two columns of jungle wood planks, right here. Then, against this, we're going to put a cauldron in this corner, fill it with water, light blue dye. Skip two, put a trapdoor and an end portal. Then, two columns of wood planks again. Then fill in this down to the end of it with three layers of nether brick. Then we'll come on this side of it. In this corner here, we're going to do the opposite of this, so a trapdoor and an end portal. I was just checking my work here. So around here, a trapdoor and an end portal. Skip to, do a cauldron again, water, light blue dye. Then we'll bring nether brick one block past the cauldron up to the top. Then another two columns of wood planks. Then we're going to come back over on this side, right here, another column of nether brick, two by two of light blue glass panes, nether brick above it, column of nether brick, three by two of light blue glass panes, nether brick above it, and we'll fill in all the rest of this to the end of the car up to the top with nether brick. And that frames in all our bathrooms for the suites and their windows. One block behind this window, two columns of wood planks again. Then on this side, we're going to frame in this door to the top with nether brick and a column behind it. Then, in front of that, we're going to do a column of two light blue stained glass panes here. Another brick on top of that and a column in front of it. Then we'll come over, two more columns and another brick. Then in front of that, back to light blue stained glass panes and we're going to do a three by two. Another brick above that, then a column behind it. Then we're going to knock out this bottom nether brick, three light blue stained glass panes, nether brick on top, and a column behind it. Then another two columns of nether brick, knock out the bottom one, three light blue stained glass, nether brick above it, column of nether brick behind it. Then a 2x2 two two of stained glass panes, surround it with nether brick. 
Then we're going to extend nether brick down another four all the way up to the top. And then a nether brick, a glass pane nether brick, column another nether brick behind it. Repeat that. Then we'll extend nether brick to the top another seven blocks past that window. And once we have seven blocks coming out, we'll do a two by two light blue stained glass, another brick on top, column another brick behind it. Then we'll knock out the bottom one, three stained glass, another brick on top, column another brick behind it. Then we'll fill in all the rest of this to the top with another brick down to the end of the car. Then we're going to take out iron bars and put three on each side of the door here. Come down to this end and do the same thing. Three iron bars on each side. Then we have to do the other side as well. Three iron bars here and here. And one more corner to go. Three iron bars here and here. Then we're going to come on the end of the car here. Under the door, put a trap door. Then, on either side of the trap door, we need to get a polished black stone brick wall. And we're going to bring those walls up and over the top of the door. Then we'll do the same thing at this end. A trap door in front of the door. Walls on either side of it. And come up and over the top of the door. Then I just realized we never put the coupler on this end. So we need a dark oak stair and dark oak fence gate. Turn around here, get the stair stacked up to this middle second block for the coupler, delete the ones we used for placement. Under it, a dark oak fence gate and a dark oak fence gate on either side of it here. Then on this side, in between the middle of these first two windows, one block down from the top, we're going to knock out a block, put in honey, and an oak button under it. Then we'll move down between these two tall windows. Same thing. Put a honey and an oak button under it. Then we'll move down in between the center of here. Same thing. Honey and an oak button. Then we'll leave a gap of two after these small windows, knock out these four, put in honey, skip a block down, knock out these two, put in gold, then one over, put a gold, and one over on this side, put a gold. Then we'll come over here, three blocks past this one, knock out two, put in honey, two oak buttons under it. Then we'll come over at this front end on the other side here. One block over from this black stone stair. We're gonna do gold in a pattern that goes one, space two, space one. One block above these two, a two by two of honey. Then we'll move over in between these windows here, six, oak buttons. Then we're going to come over where this big gap is here. Skip two blocks past the window and on the third block out, one block from the bottom, we're going to do two gold, a space, then five gold, then a space and two gold. Above the center, of the five gold here, we're going to do two rows of three honey. Just like that. Then we're going to move down to this end, up here, take this one out, honey, under it, an oak button. Then we're going to take out oak signs for the top up here. Start where this first wood divider is here. 
and start running a line of oak signs down to the other end. We're going to stop where this final wood divider is on this end. Then we have to do the same thing over here. So we'll start aligned with that first wood divider and bring it down this way. And we'll stop above this first honey block here. Then we're going to come inside here and finish off these bathrooms. So above where this trap door is, we're going to put a stone button and a trip wire hook for the shower head. Come down to these bathrooms and do the same thing. So stone button, trip wire hook. Then here, stone button and trip wire hook. Then we're going to take out light blue stained glass. Right here, that's supposed to be the end of the shower. Same thing right here. And right here. Then we're going to put a jungle door here, two jungle planks above it. Then we got to get doors on these bathrooms here. So we actually have to take out these two, put in a door. Same thing over here, but turn this way, take out these two. Put in a door. Now we'll do the actual rooms. And for that, we're going to take out dark prismarine stairs and slabs. Put a stair here, two slabs, because there's like a couch that folds into a bed. There's supposed to be two, but we don't have room. We'll put three temporary blocks here because there's a desk. And we'll close trap doors on the sides and on the top of it and take out these temporary blocks. Then we'll move down to the next room. Same thing right here. A stair, two slabs, three temporary blocks, close trap doors on the sides and put some across the top. Take out the temporary blocks. And one more room here. So right here, a stair, two slabs. Under this window, temporary blocks. Trap doors on top. Close trap doors on the side of it. Take out the temporary blocks here. Now we'll come inside, starting at the first room with jungle trap doors, because the walls are supposed to be wood. We'll close three trap doors across here and two coming up this window column. And one on top here and here. Skip past the bathrooms and we'll do the same thing. One on top here, one, on, two on top here, three across here, two up here. And one more room to go, same thing. Three up here, up here, up here. Come in this bathroom. Put a torch above this door and a torch above this bed here on the third block up. Same thing here. Then above this door in the bathroom, above this door, above here. In this end, there's supply storage for when the car attendant needs to get the passenger something. So a two by two by two of bookshelves here. And on top of it, we'll fill it up to the top with jungle wood planks. Then two up here. We'll put a dark oak door here. Come down to this end. Down in here, a dark oak door here. Then we got to light the ends of the car here. So we're going to grab a torch again. And on the third layer up, we'll put a torch on each side in the end here. I was having some trouble placing it. One on each side on the third layer. 
Then across this middle top, we're going to put jungle wood planks and just keep bringing it down across all these. And keep it coming past all these dividers. Over here, we need a torch right above the door on the third layer and fill this all in to the end. Now right here, we have to use doors for the walls because we don't have space. So turn this way. We'll use spruce doors for the main walls. When we get to the corner here, a jungle door for the room's actual door. Then switch back to spruce right across the bathroom here the bathrooms are private accessed only by the person in the room and in this corner right here a jungle door for this room and back to spruce and keep it coming all the way past here and right here a jungle door for this room and then spruce doors past this bathroom right to the end here And now we can actually fit in this hallway here. Now come stand on top of this here, crouch, and we're going to put a full row of spruce trap doors above all these doors in the hallway here. Because we got to cover this last space. And this is to allow us to have the room for the torches in there. So just keep crouching and bringing trapdoors all the way down. Then once we get to the end here, we can go ahead and come back through and close all these trapdoors to complete the walls. Now, all our rooms are completely sectioned off and private here. Now we'll do the ceiling. So come at this end of the car where the porch is. Three jungle wood planks across the top here. Then we'll take jungle wood planks on this side to cover the tops of all the rooms and bathrooms here. And just keep filling it. For the hallway for the ceiling, we're going to turn this way and we're going to put upside down jungle wood stairs facing the inside of the car all the way down this for the hallway ceiling because the hallway ceiling is supposed to have a curve to it. And we'll bring this all the way down to the whole ceilings filled in here. Just like that. Then come down on top of the end, closest to the front of the train here. We're going to do two rows of five polished deep slate slabs. Then two deep slate tile stairs facing outward on either side of the top. Then behind them, two deep slate tile blocks on each side, two polished deep slate in the center. Actually, we'll extend this down one more here. So we'll do another deep slate tile stair on each side, then deep slate tile blocks, polished deep slate in the center, then a row of five polished deep slate slabs. Then we're going to do six polished deep slate stairs on each side facing outward. Fill in the center of that section with polished deep slate blocks. Then a row of polished deep slate slabs coming across. Then we'll do three deep slate tile stairs, a space, and another three. Copy it over here, so three, space, another three. Then we do deep slate tile blocks on the backs of all these stairs. 
polished deep slate blocks in the centers here, polished deep slate slabs in this gap, and polished deep slate slab slabs at this end. Then we'll come down to the other end of the car, two rows of polished deep slate slabs across the end. Behind it, three deep slate tile stairs, a space, three more. Copy it over here, three deep slate tile stairs, a space, three more. Then deep slate tile blocks behind all the stairs on both sides, and polished deep slate blocks in the center of them. Then polished deep slate slabs in this gap, and across this end. Then for the rest of it, we just run polished deep slate stairs down to this end on the outside edge. Same thing here. And then we'll fill this whole top middle three with polished deep slate blocks here so that the whole roof is covered with them. All the way down to here. And that's the completed sleeper car here, but we need to do more because this train has a specific number of these. So what we're going to need to do is either use the structure command to copy in or just build more of these so that you have a total of four of these sleeper cars on your train. Now that third car up at the front is supposed to be slightly different. It's a handicap access car in real life. But since it's only a three block wide scale on the inside, we can't really make it any wider. So I've just made it the same here because there'd be no difference. So we need to get four of these sleeper cars on the train, like I said, and then we're gonna have to number them. So for that, we need banners. So you need a brown banner, yellow die, and brown die. So come into a loom, brown banner, yellow die. Vertical on the right, horizontal on top, bottom, and middle. New banner. We're going to do a vertical on the left, switch to brown die, make the bottom half brown. Back to yellow die, horizontal in the middle, vertical on the right. New banner. Horizontal on top and bottom, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, bottom half yellow, horizontal on top. Switch to brown die and put a brown border around all of these numbers. Then we can start placing them. So we'll come up to the first sleeper car here, next to the door. And this is the third car, so we'll do number three. Come down to this end, a banner here, do the other side. Number three here. And next to this door. Then we'll move on to the next car. Number four next to this door. And this door. Then do the other side here. And here. Then of course we move on to the next car, this time with number five. Put it here. Same thing next to this door here. Do the other side. Put it here. And here. And one more car to go. And of course this one is car number six. So a six here. A six here. Then we do the other side, six here, and six here. And once we have all the numbers on all four of these sleeper cars, we're finally complete with this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed the build here. Our train is almost done, but this is the Seven Stars Kyushu, so there is one more car to go for the end of the train, which we will be doing in a future video. So make sure you leave room on the track behind it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, 
Have a great week. Stay safe out there.